From writing off his match with Conor McGregor to be the biggest in UFC history, to revealing that the Irishman has been ducking him, this is why Jorge Masvidal is ready to come out of retirement already. He's all in for a fight against the Notorious, even though he just retired. Money has always been a huge motivating factor when it comes to the UFC, and there are no exceptions here either. In the recent history of the promotion, Connor and Gamebred have been two of the biggest names. They both have huge fan followings, and they always draw big numbers in their fights. I know that they haven't been at their best recently, but their popularity is still by far incomparable to anyone else on the UFC roster. Masvidal knows this. He even told TMZ that he and McGregor can bring in a cool million pay-per-views without even lifting a finger. And if they really tried to sell it, then who knows how big that number can get. It truly is a mathematician promoter's dream. Plus, it'll also give them a chance to settle some stuff inside the octagon. They do have a long-standing beef, and it hasn't been squashed as yet. Jorge has, in the past, called out Connor multiple times for a match. He's called the Irish mad lad a little bitch and a midget, and has said that he just wants to beat him up, break his face, and pick up a fat paycheck while doing so. As vocal as Connor is, he isn't that outspoken when it comes to Masvidal. Yet, there have been a few insults thrown here and there on social media, but Connor knows that Gamebred isn't the guy you can mess with and get away from. Jorge has said in the past that McGregor can insult his mother or someone else close to him, but deep down, he just wants it all to go away, so that the former dual champ doesn't have to deal with the baddest mother BMF title holder. Speaking of which, reminds me, Connor did want a crack at the BMF belt in the past. He probably just wanted to add that to his collection of belts, but as you all know, that never happened. Back when Nate Diaz clashed with Masvidal for the symbolic title, the Notorious was waiting in the wings to fight against the winner. Rumors are that Connor was hoping that Nate would win. That would have given him a chance to conclude their trilogy, as both McGregor and Diaz were one and one in their last two outings. Things didn't play out as he wanted, though. Masvidal really showed up that night and put on a horrendous beating on the Stockton Slapper, forcing a doctor's stoppage and cementing himself as the rightful holder of the BMF title. Following that, Gamebred tried multiple times to get Connor to commit to a fight, but for whatever reason, that never happened. Masvidal thinks that's because he's really bad for Connor's style. You all know that these guys aren't known for their grappling, and that's what makes them so popular. That's also why they haven't found much success recently, because wrestlers just tend to outlast them and outscore them on the ground. Masvidal believes that while he doesn't prefer to take things down to the canvas, he's still bad for Connor. Just because he's far, far better than the Notorious as a striker. In an interview right before his last fight against Gilbert Burns, Jorge said that he's not going to take McGregor down to see what he smells like. Instead, he's going to beat the fucking piss out of him on the feet. He added that he's going to hit Connor whenever and wherever he wants to. And if the Irishman lands a shot or two, he's just going to laugh in his face. Gamebred also promised that he'd prove to be too much for Notorious, and that he's going to make sure that the former double champ quits standing up. Those are some pretty big claims, and the Jorge Masvidal of old could have pulled it off for sure. But can he do it now, especially after losing four fights in a row? Well, it's anyone's guess. Ironically, the last thing he did win was that BMF belt against Nate. After that, it's all been pretty downhill for Gamebred. He lost back-to-back -back title fights against Kamaru Usman, lost the top contender fight against his friend-turned-mortal enemy Colby Covington, and now he lost to Burns, which forced him to retire from the octagon. Make no mistake, the man is still extremely dangerous inside the cage. But like he said himself, the reaction time isn't what it used to be. And that's something that he'd absolutely miss against a guy like Connor who is actually known for his immaculate striking. But there's a silver lining to all of this for Masvidal, because McGregor isn't the fighter he used to be either. Before that horrific leg injury, Connor didn't look like the same fighter in the octagon. His match against Khabib Nurmagomedov must have broken him or something, because it just looked as if he didn't have the same fire in him. The Notorious did win against Donald Cerrone, but let's face it, the cowboy was pretty much out of it by then. 
and Dustin Poirier just finished him off in the next two battles they engaged in. Now the diamond isn't just your average brawler, so losing to him isn't that bad. It's how Connor lost that's not so cool. Masvidal is a dog like Poirier, so he can really brawl too. But the thing is that the street Jesus of Miami is a lot more technical when it comes to striking, so that automatically becomes a much bigger problem for McGregor. If the fight between Jorge and the Notorious were to happen, then Gamebred might be asking some questions that Connor wouldn't have the answers to. And Masvidal's fighting prowess is something that even Burns can testify to. Yeah, he did lose at UFC 287 and chose to retire, but Dorino admitted that things weren't very easy for him in that match. Praising Jorge's abilities, the Brazilian noted that Gamebred was a very dangerous opponent. Gilbert acknowledged the Miami native's intelligence inside the octagon and revealed that he always knew how to respond to every situation. Burns couldn't afford to relax for a single moment because Masvidal still had all the answers. He knew where to put his hands, how to shift his weight and make life difficult for Burns. And striking is something that just comes naturally to Masvidal. So all this respect from Durinho didn't just come out of nowhere. He also revealed something else, too. He knew what could bring Masvidal out of retirement. It's not the welterweight title, it's the money. No surprises there, right? Gilbert believes that Jorge could be lured back into the cage for a fight against either Connor or Nate. That makes a lot of sense as well. Masvidal is no fool. He knows that any title aspirations are over. But if the UFC can get either of those two men to fight him, he'll be up for it. Will Dana do it, though? Well, maybe. You see, the experiment with the BMF title fight was a huge success. It raked in a lot of cash for the promotion. And you all know how much Uncle Dana loves that green. Plus, these guys know how to sell a fight. So the only thing that the UFC would have to do is get them to sign a contract. But Nate is now a free agent and is unlikely to be back anytime soon. Connor, on the other hand, is still under contract and Jorge really wants a piece of him. But that's not something that Dana would want to do. The UFC president believed that the fight would harm McGregor's career. He wanted the Notorious in a rematch against Khabib rather than trying his luck at welterweight. Dana even said that Masvidal is too big for him, and he wasn't even in favor of Connor fighting Nate. He hated the fact that he did that twice because the Irishman doesn't really belong at 170. For the UFC head honcho, the BMF belt was a one-off thing, and he did it just because it was fun. But for Conor to go up a division and fight Jorge for that title, it was a bad idea. Dana also revealed that Conor gets pissed off when he says that. He clarified that he didn't mean that the former double champ can't beat the street Jesus, it just doesn't make sense for that to happen. That was all in the past, though. Now White knows that Masvidal retired, and Conor too is in the twilight of his career and Khabib isn't ever coming back. So why not cut one last huge paycheck for himself before these guys are gone for good? Connor doesn't seem all that interested in it anymore, though. Gamebred revealed that every time the UFC has tried to make the fight happen, McGregor has shut it down for the weirdest reasons. He also said that the Irishman wanted him to go down to 155 to fight him, which is just crazy. Masvidal hasn't fought as a lightweight for almost eight years now and he's not even sure if his body can take that weight loss. He's sure that Connor is just too scared to take this fight because of what he'll do to him. So, from revealing that the Irishman has been ducking him, to predicting a match with Connor McGregor to be the biggest one in UFC history, that is why Jorge Masvidal is ready to come out of retirement already.